we got to peel off five members of Congress. And I'm going to tell you the five that we're looking at the hardest. Two guys in Texas that I've worked with in the past. Wendy, you and Bill have worked with them in the past. Right. Henry Cuellar, Vincente Gonzalez. Yeah. Okay. Uh, written both of them. Yep. And okay. I've given them both money. Both of these guys have co-sponsored the Seller Finance Enhancement Act that, you know, co that we've been on, we've been on support of that you guys have supported and so on. Mm -hmm. They have, they have written and co-sponsored that bill. So they are friendly to the real estate investing community. That's two of the five right there. There's another lady by the last name of Murphy, whose office is in, in Orlando, Florida. And guess what? A very large custodial company is right in the middle of her district. <laughs> and she's in Florida. And that so helps. that's a, that, that really helps. And then there's another one by the name of Spanberger. She just so happens to have her district right where our good friend Jim Ingersoll and his entourage inhabit. In Virginia. In awesome. Richmond, Virginia. Awesome. So I'm like, yes, 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 yes at all four of these. And then there's another one up in New Jersey. Um, I'm liking the guy up in New Jersey because he's in a borderline district, which means he has to be very careful. He, if he wants to be reelected, he's got to pay attention to the noise that I want him to hear. Okay. <laughs> so now you're going to say, well, Jeff, I thought you to told me that Pelosi only has a three vote majority. I did. But Jeff, why do you want five votes? Ah, because how many of you remember Congressman Marsha Fudge from Cleveland, Ohio, got appointed to become the secretary of HUD? Well, there was a special election in her district last week and somebody won. I don't remember who it is. And they're now going to go be put up in Washington, D.C. And it's going to give Pelosi a four vote majority. Uh, so I'm still trying to be one ahead. Right, OK, right. You know, folks, I it's just the same thing. This is just the same business principles you apply in your real estate businesses that you apply in your lending business, you apply in your investing business. You're looking ahead down the street and around the corner. And you're saying, okay, what if, if Lowe's doesn't have this in stock, I'm going to go to home Depot. Okay. Right. <laughs> and if home Depot doesn't have it, well then I'm going to have to figure out something else. Cause I, you know, I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge home Depot fan for a couple of reasons. Anyhow. Um, but that's what we're doing. We're planning ahead. And so the, the, my message right now is this. Our voices have been heard. The clamor needs to become more cohesive and louder. Mm -hmm. We need to become more cohesive and louder. I have been reaching out to several of my friends that are at some big mastermind powwow this week in Tampa, Florida, for a bunch of real estate information marketing geniuses. And I'm like trying to get these guys to go look at my good friend, John Heyer's website, handsoffmyira.com. Go take a look at it. John made some more adjustments to that website in the last little bit. Some of which came suggestions came from my office. I mean, this John and I talk every day um, because we're in this fight every day. I'm talking with somebody from Quest Trust every day because we're in this fight. Okay. Right, we're right. in, we're in this battle. Mm -hmm. I'll be on the phone with, folks from another smaller custodial company later today because of this topic. And so we're in the fight. We're, we need to realize that we've just found out how large of a voice we can have. And now we need to unify it, clarify it, and then keep repeating the message. Awesome. And then not stop repeating the message until we get the House Ways and Means Committee to pull that 881 page monstrosity back and start removing those two offending sections, 138312 and 138314. That's when we call it a victory, is when right. those sections come out. 